Hi everyone, as part of the Thinkific built-in program, you have the ability to work with affiliates. Now affiliates happen to come into two areas here for you. One is under market and sell, where you can see your affiliate list, which I'm about to now. And the other is the point of when you're setting up the user profile. So we're just jumping into the affiliates tab over here now. Now, to make things simple on our end, what we've aimed to do with all of our affiliates is keep the commissions the same and everything going in the right direction so that we know that our affiliate is on a set rate. You might also want to have a chat with your affiliate. So you might want to have a, a book in first or go with them through a number of areas here. Now you're seeing our live affiliates program and you can see the amount of affiliate commissions we've paid. You've got the ability to review and pay commissions based on where you're sitting right here. I'm just going to delve into our test users account over here, who's one of our affiliates, our little test user, which is very vital in our setup for being able to test things and just show you how the affiliate details are set up. Um, and then your affiliate details will jump into the test users account and I'll show you what the affiliate dashboard looks like for a test account. So the affiliate user is got, we've got a pending commissions here. We just need to actually go and edit the affiliate here. So hit edit affiliate. So if you try and manage everything through this library, you'll be fine. But if you need to add someone, you need, do need to do it through the user library. And I'll show you what happens when we go into editing affiliates over here. So our affiliate details over here and our little test user. Now we come to the user tab. So you just see here, we've actually come to the user tab over here and this starts to bring up our affiliate details. Now we can actually grab a copy of the affiliate links for the, the test user. So if we needed to grab a, a copy of a link there, you can. It's that reference code at the end of the affiliate link, little question mark and reference code that's going to allow people to see what we are, what, where the courses come from and allow us and Thinkific to understand where the courses come from. So to um, create an affiliate, you've got your little test user over here or whoever you would like to. And if you hit edit profile here, you can add any pro person to your affiliate program. Now, because we still need to manually pay people out, we wanna make sure that we are adding people who are going to actively refer us uh, rather than just everyone through the process. So we've got our details over here. Now there's a number of site roles here. We've got the site admin, we've got the course admin, we've got group analysts, we've got affiliate. This is the one we're looking to tick here is affiliate. If we were looking for a revenue partner, for example, we could look at doing revenue partners, but they're more in the course creation journey. So this is setting up an affiliate relationship right now. So someone who's gonna share your course with their audience and promote the link. So you would just hit in here and you'd hit affiliate. And then from down here, you can see what your commission is and their PayPal email. So normally when we bring an affiliate on board, we once again remind them to check their settings and make sure the email address they've registered with is the same as their PayPal one. Otherwise, we're gonna pay out to the wrong spot. So really, it's, it's that easy. It's about going to finding a user, adding them, editing them in, and then they can grab their links. And as I said, always, you can click to, on their activity tab. So click on the user, and we'll just hit save on our test user over here. And what you can see from their user profile is their affiliate referral code. We can't manually add an affiliate, but we can jump in there and have a look at being able to add a code. While we're waiting for that one, let's go to Firefox and let's log in with our lovely little test user so that you can see what he, what test user can see when he is in the back end of our school wanting to refer someone through and we're wanting to look for an affiliate link. So our test user is just like every other student. They're, they're a student, they're a registration, your affiliate person is just like every other person out there. He just uh, delves into the world of being able to see our course content. So while we're waiting for this one to pop up, right, here we go. And we're waiting on this lovely regional internet to keep up with us today. Um, we will jump, jump back over here. Um, and you can see that he's an affiliate over here. Now on the user profile over here, we can't see it. We just got to go back one step further to test user over here. Okay. And then we get everything. So we get the details, the enrollment, the activity feed, the affiliates, any quizzes or surveys they've pulled out by user as well, you can get in there now. And if we delve into this lovely little affiliate tab over here, we will see all the affiliate links. To get a commission or an affiliate report, we're going actually back to market and sell. We're going to affiliates. And it will show you your approved or pending approval and required commissions. So you'll see, that all pop in here. So you need to pop this one in manually that you come in every little while ago and see how you go. So you've got um, pending amounts, approved amounts, all coming in through here throughout the users. And then once the amount's pending, you just li literally hit edit and approve 
approve the amounts coming through the process. So, it's an, and you can export a spreadsheet so you can pay it out nice and easily and simply going along. But because you've actually got to manually do this, this is where it's a big one about making sure that we've got our right affiliates moving through. Um, and we're making sure that we're, we're working with the right people who are going to refer stuff to us and generate commissions throughout that journey. So heading back over here to our test user account, wrong screen, sorry about that guys. Heading back over here to our test user account, we're just gonna log in as our test user and see what he would see as an affiliate or she, we don't know who test is. Um, and we're just gonna jump in here and you'll see what they will see on their dashboard. So on, the, on their dashboard, they're gonna see any courses that they're enrolled in and they're also going to see their affiliate links. So you've got general information over here and their affiliate links. So all their affiliate details are here, whatever their rate is. So the affiliate links are here, financial reports, now you get to see their financial reports. So anything that they've clicked on, what they might be owed. So total commission owed, um, pending, what's paid, any commissions, payouts, and how many visitors they might have sent through to the site. So they get to see this visitors report. Unfortunately, we don't get to see how many visitors they send, but they get to see this visitors report. If our test user wasn't wanting to look at their affiliate stuff, then they could go to their dashboard and their dashboard would happen to show them any courses that they are registered in. But because they're an affiliate, that's normally the first spot they'll come to. And then they've got their, their courses in here as well. And once again, to return to their affiliate dashboard, it is up here and just hit the little affiliate tab and it will take them back through to the dashboard. So that's a bit of a tour of the affiliate area and how you can run affiliates using Thinkific.